Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Tran. I am the mayor for the city of Marino. And joining me is Sika Carey, the first ever female councillor for the city of Footscray, now known as the city of Marino. I go back to many, many years in Footscray and many, many years in the community and delighted to still be here. The interesting thing about Sika is that she was one of the only migrant councillors in the city of Footscray almost 50 years ago. A councillor that spoke four different languages and for me, a councillor that really broke the barriers of what is or what was the standard and the norm. Can you tell us about your journey to Australia and then that journey transitioning into council? We were a part of the post-war migration to Australia. The system at the time was my father signed a contract to work wherever he was sent for two years. The world was a much bigger place in those days. You know, you, you didn't have instantaneous information. We arrived on the 26th of June, 1949. Freezing cold. Freezing cold. We were not delighted, I must say. Another question that I have to have for you is what the older community bring from what I view, but what do you sort of take from that? What do you think that they sort of bring for the community? I have a slightly different attitude, and that is like the late uh, John Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, you know? And I, I, I've always had this attitude, and my whole family has had this. What can you actually give, what can you do, is basically participate, I think, whether you are young, middle-aged or old. I mean, obviously, the longer you've lived, the more experiences you've had. You can pass that wisdom on if you like. During a lot of my messaging, I talk about providing services for a lot of young people. For some like myself, it's the older generation that have set these foundations that I can now climb these, these different peaks and these different mountains, which I couldn't before. Without appreciating people like yourself, the older generation, it just doesn't work. Tell me about your, your I guess your council career, because I've got a lot to learn. <laughs> and who better to learn Some from funny than funny things. So tell me, so tell me about it. Like tell Some me funny I, stories. Please. Amazing. I lived right near the intersection of um, Somerville Road, Robert Street and Geelong Road. Yes, Slater, exactly. Okay. When the, it rained a lot, because there was only one side entry pit and that would get clogged up with leaves and the water would actually come into our drive. So I rang the council to find out who my councillor was, my ward councillor, and they told me and I rang the, the councillor and of course nobody came. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to go around to that council and have a look, you know, what they're doing with all these rates that we're paying. So I went to a council meeting and I sat in the gallery, if you like. So then I looked around, 15 councillors, all men. All the officers, all men. The journos that covered every council meeting, men. So I became interested. I've always had a lot of curiosity. Your counselling career is finished, but yeah. where are you now with all this? I am still very much in love with this city. I love the West. There is no, no limit to what you can be involved in if you're interested. In terms of volunteering and what makes our community our community, why is it so crucial I mean, that it is embedded in each of our communities? I think people caring for each other is, is absolutely what makes us human. I was sort of gearing towards I guess giving to you what Seniors Month is to me. It is a way for not just one person or for you know a minority group of young people to show yeah. that we care for our elders, but for the entire nation to step up and say that we still care and that we should care and even and more so. And oh we yes, we, and we value and appreciate absolutely everything that these people have done before yeah. us because yeah. there's so many lessons that could not have been learned, so yeah. many experiences that we could have never heard of. Yeah. And more importantly, there are so many stories that would never have been told. Yeah. And, and to be fair, those stories make up a wealth of experience for so many of us. It is long and for us to appreciate exactly what people like yourself bring every single time. Thank you. Thank you And so I, much. I appreciate it endlessly. I know for me, being the youngest man in our, in our city's history mm -hmm. is one thing, but to completely smash a gender stereotype back in your day, yeah. and even now, is something that continues to inspire and I, I would hope 
continues to inspire Thank many you. more to come Thank after. Thank you. Well, I've got to tell you, it has been such a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much, uh, Sika, and to all of our older people in the community. Have a wonderful Seniors Month from the City of Maranong, from the councillors and from myself. We appreciate you and we absolutely value everything that you have done for this community.